So today we're gonna make a uh, advanced interaction system. So basically what it means we have our first person right right here and the only code that we're gonna add in the first person is a component. So everything so basically you can drag this component out and add to uh, every other project that you have. So you will just drag it in, bam, you have an interaction system with widgets uh and so on so first things first create an interaction folder gonna have an ac component called ac interaction and if you open it up it should look like this we're gonna have a basic variable called range and this will be an actor and we are not gonna use any line traces or uh, any sphere traces or uh, whatever because i found it's kind of uh, not efficient enough we have this capsule component right and a lot of people actually use this to detect if you're overlapping certain items so you can see there's a component begin overlap and end overlap you can use both of these in here but uh, how i said i don't want any code in the main player so you're gonna use this capsule to basically uh, interact with the object so we're gonna go into ac interaction and the uh, range should be an array because we gonna have multiple items and at begin play we're gonna get owner and cast to either you can do a character or you can do a uh, cast to uh, first person so basically the difference is if you add this uh, first person or main player whatever if you add this ac component to another character that is not the first person character it's going to basically fail and stuff so the best way is to do just cast to character uh so because this main player as you can see parent class is a character so that's why it's gonna go and get the character so we're gonna promote this into variable just in case and from here we can actually get capsule component and there's a thing you can event bind it right here there's a lot of like events bind it's basically the same thing right here if you're going to do capsule uh, events on component overlap and it's basically the same so you can do event begin overlap this one so it's the same event a huge to a, a custom event for example over uh, begin overlap and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this a little bit cleaner make the event event i think create an event and right here there should be begin overlap so that's begin overlap and we need end overlap as also and overlap and remember it should be bind not assign and same thing let's create a custom this is and end overlap make it right here radiate event and that should be the end overlap end overlap sorry just like that okay so everything looks clean everything looks cool and right here we're gonna actually need when you overlap what we are gonna do so we have to go and create an item so go to actors and create bp main item right here we're gonna have a ca oh, not a capsule a collision called sphere collision i guess and a static mesh put the sphere into the mesh go to construct script take the sphere set extend i think no radius sphere radius right here set sphere radius and promote it into variable take the static mesh set static mesh and right here promote the new mesh into the mesh so now you can insensitive editable expose and spawn now to communicate through the uh interaction uh, component actor component and the main player we need an interface so create an interface as well so bpi uh, interact interaction yeah open that up we're gonna have f interact and an input of an actor so we know what actor we are actually adding destroying whatever this will be just an actor and that's it so now you can go into the uh what is main item class settings and add this interface voila easy peasy lemon squeezy what are you worry about man go to event graph uh double click on the interaction you'll get this destroy and let's print it out so and you can add yeah print it out just just like that basically we can right here right picked up you just picked up basically and it's gonna destroy it 
So now in the AC interaction, we can basically from other actors just implement an interface. That's going to be the BPI. Have a branch. It's basically going to check if it has this interface. And in the range, we're just going to add add unique. What it does, it's just going to add when it overlaps, it adds the item to this array like an inventory. Uh, if that makes sense. Now we can copy all of this, paste it on the end overlap, and now not add unique, but remove item, and it's gonna remove the other actor. Okay, so that's done. That should work. Now if we press, for example, let's do left mouse button, and now we, if we add the F interact, and in the range, we basically gonna get a copy. And that's gonna be our target. And the actor is cat owner. Just like that. Okay. So if we test it out right now, we walk up to it. We press, nothing happens. Because uh, the mediotic stupid. I'm I'm literally autistic or some I don't fuck. Disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. So if you go into BP main player, last thing you have to add this component. Boom. And if you play, and if you click, bam, you picked up, bam, you picked up. The only thing that you needed to do is add this interaction component. And all the code is in here, so you can just move it in every uh, other projects and you will have this interaction. One last thing that we're gonna do. Uh, in the AC interaction, right here when we do left mouse button, we gonna check just in case if in the range the inventory or whatever is not empty, just like that. So if it's true, okay, then we can interact. So we have something in our range, you know.